key issue here in terms of employment and employment opportunities. I can see overall the sense of pride for young India to be an Indian today, just not only in India but anywhere in the world is very, very high. And I think that can come from a sense of pride to your own nationality, but also from where you think you can contribute. So I just wanted to throw the floor open necessarily on employment opportunities, plus what are the challenges? Where do you think we are, where we have issues and where do you hold the government, if any, accountable in that? It would be employability is going to be when we have some a good education sector. Four of our panelists said the sunrise industry would be education. Uh, regarding Mr. Kapil Sibyl's recent uh, uh, ideas about how we would take the education sector forward, uh, scrapping the class 10 board exams and always having a pan India board uh, and increasing the FDI level. How does it affect a youth or someone like me who is there studying management? How does it affect me? How does it help me? Is the structure feasible? If everything education is the base uh, that our youth is today going the may biggest challenge that we are going to face today. How does it help me or an individual like me? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely a straightforward and fair question. More from this side. So what is actually India's biggest problem? Is it the India's inability to decide which, se which sector to spend on, inability to generate employment, or inability to address the population growth? Because the fact is even if you have X percent growth rate, you have 2X percent population growth. So the extra benefit that is generated has to be divided uh, uh, into more and more number of people. So ultimately per head you don't generate much, much benefit. So isn't, isn't that causing a hindrance in the, uh, the economic development, the, the generation in the, I mean, an enhancement sure. of the living standards Fair. of the people? As far as uh, employment is concerned, uh, the amount of people who are employed in the organized sector is much much less as compared to the Absolutely. people in the unorganized sector. Absolutely. So yep. as far as reforms are concerned, no, if uh, for the organized sector there may be some mechanism for people who lose their jobs or uh, may have some fallback mechanism. But what about those in the unemployed sector? They have to, they as it is do not earn much to save something for themselves so that during when the times are not very good they would uh, uh, po go into their savings and help themselves. Over last 10 years. 40% of jobs in organized sector are created by IT and IT and he was come industry. Back to IT in that Please remember that. 40% of jobs which are created by IT and BPO industry and there is a, some statistic which says that we are adding 2% growth to GDP. Having said that, organized sector as someone also said is only 40 million of our jobs. We need to look at other 160 million job creation. And to my mind, the real important engine to create job is entrepreneurship. We need to build entrepreneurs in this country many, many more and not only in the cities. I am talking of rural entrepreneurship. I think rural jobs will be created by rural entrepreneurship looking at opportunities in agriculture, looking opportunities in services. So government has to create an environment. Where they can get funded and they can be supported. Yeah, an educational institute have to have incubation engines. In a country like so India, self-employment, yeah. self-generation of employment is an important yeah. trigger and a criteria. Absolutely. See, we in IT industry create jobs. One Mastek, one Infos, you know, we, we, we created jobs in this industry. Sure. That happened because of entrepreneurship. Okay, we're pretty much going to be out of time. Mr. Yeah. your Employable people are there in India. And all do ca are not getting the employment. So it's the job of the government to create employment for them, especially in rural area by development on agriculture, and especially in urban area by spending on infrastructure. infrastructure. Then the employ employment is possible. Will get generated. Well, you know, I think the thing that needs to be remembered is that the bulk of this country's population is below 25 years of age. Now, if we are not going to be able to create as many jobs as are required over the next 10 years, there's going to be a social revolution in this country. And I think it's very important for the government to think about job creation, about employability, skill creation, and also if that ba balance needs to be restored between agriculture, manufacturing, and services, then at, in the agricultural sector, at least 400 or 350 million people need to be provided different kinds of jobs. So these are a lot of jobs that need to be created. And if we miss the bus on this one, I dare say we're going to have hell to pay for that. Uh, ominous words, but not very encouraging words for everybody there. I can see that from that point of view. Go ahead. Yeah, I would just like to make a point that government's role should be more that of a facilitator and uh, it should do whatever it takes to set the right policy and uh, regulations in place. And one thing that we did not talk about today was more on the judicial reforms, yes. which is what is highly needed too. And it's, it's very imperative that uh, we have a, a, a speedier 
uh, resolution of the disputes and that's a part of the whole package of India Inc that we would offer to anybody. So I would very much uh, endorse the judicial reforms. You know I think uh, today we are in a challenging time because uh, earlier young India at least when I graduated you always felt that you could if you had the education you could get a job outside yes. India. Yeah. Uh, the biggest challenge is today with the global economy closing down uh, what is you know one what is the biggest threat is that they are closing down the international job market for Indians so I think keeping that in mind India will have to do all the measures that it can to generate employment within India itself well I'm not sure all of your questions really got answered in a one-hour discussion I'm also I think it was a very very uh, fertile one I think it was something that we all exchange good and solid views on that and I do want to end uh, necessarily by really going around with the panel today we're all setting high targets and I think we should Martin Luther King said he has a dream I think Obama has become the most adored person in the world because he's prolonged that and taken it to the next level and here in India everyone is actually thinking we could be in the top three economies in the world in the next 20 years which has do we really as a country have genuinely hand to our heart what it takes to get there just a yes or a no well, we have we have the power and we'll get it. You think we'll actually get there? Yeah. And we're going to ask all of you all with some resounding yes's yeah. and no's. I can say yes, we can do it. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, we can. Okay, so I think I, I get a sense I'm going to hear something quite contrary from the other side. <laughs> well, all I'm saying is we definitely can do it, but all of us need to come together and put India first. If we can do that, then uh, I see no reason why we, can get, uh, we can't get there. I'm absolutely confident we can do it. Without a doubt. So what do you all think? No. Yes. How many of you all for a no? That's your skeptic. That's a low skepticism. That's not bad. That's not bad. So how many for a yes? Let's end the program with a yes at least. Yay. Fantastic. Okay. Tremendous. Thank you very much. Thank you all of you for joining us. It has been an extremely nice debate all around. Thank you all of you for spending your time. Presented by IBM in association with Uttam Galva Steels Limited, the best that steel can be. Print partner Financial Express Read to Lead. Magazine partner Business World, India's number one business magazine. Radio partner Radio One for the Fadafa generation. Outdoor partner Jagran Engage. Digital outdoor partner DSN. Cafe partner Barista Lavaza. Multiplex partner Cinemax. Online trade partner IndianTelevision.com. Mobile partner 197. Merchandise partner Signac Pen. Sign your destiny. Online business news partner. UTVI.com Plus one, Yani double plus. Presenting LIC's Market Plus One. Investment B plus, Pension B plus. LIC's Market Plus One.